Alright guys, after wasting quite a few time in researching, so basically we can fix this error by removing our on event listeners in the in the element itself and just putting them inside the use effect hook and just pay for our document hoax. Okay? And in our global.css I think it changed something. Okay, I, I added this one. I added the video concern of scrubbing timeline. So basically we want our height to be handled person not only when we are hovering over that our timeline but when we're scrubbing because we can just scrub anywhere oh, no, you can see I'm refresh here if I'm scrubbing that height is being 100% and everything is looking pretty fine I'll leave it <laughs> okay now only we have one thing to do so basically when the video is playing itself, uh, we are not recording the time like here, we are not showing actually like what's the updated time in, in the timeline. So to do that thing we will just go back and uh, we will just go set up our toggle time update function in here. So in the, the, in, the, in the toggle time update function we just have to change one thing. So basically what we are going to do exactly here we are just going to say, yeah what about our new percentages right? We're just gonna get our new percentage, like what we should uh, show, what whatever our timeline is just going to be, like whatever our timeline is just going to be. So that I think exactly is going to be our percent. It's going to be our video dot current dot current time divided by our video dot current dot duration. And we need to set this thing over in our CSS property with the progress uh, position. So we'll just say timeline container dot uh, current dot style dot set property progress position. We need to update it with our percentage, and that's it. I do refresh. I play it. You can see percentage is being updated. I drag it down here. Here, just playing. If I pause the video, I drag it on somewhere, and it's, it's it will just still keep. You know, it will just stay paused, uh, paused when we just do that. So, uh, probably till now we have done a lot of things, and I think we should. We need to add a few more functions here. So basically, I was talking about adding function of reloading. You know, reload the video once the video is completed has been completed. Just like this. At this moment, the video is finished because. Over all the seconds are finished. So what we want to do basically, when we are doing update the time of our video, we'll just say, let's click under the function. We'll say constant, uh, replay video. It's going to be this little function right there, and we can have have another icon in here. In the icons, we have far pause, far play. For this thing, for that thing, for pause, for play, replay icon, no replay all, uh, font awesome, let's go to font awesome and search the icon. Reload. Yeah, probably far reload. What is redo icon? Yeah, it's cool. Far replay, it's gonna have a far redo. And uh, we need to add this far replay thing. So, back and stuff like that. We're having a toggle play BTN on all of them, so if I click. Okay, one second, is it play and pause by the button right? If I click on it, it's gonna pause it. If you click on it, it's gonna play it. But this little guy here is gonna have a different function. Probably gonna have an on click on the div itself. Uh, 
Well, I guess that's a little bit complicated. I'm not sure if this thing is going to work or not. Let's do a refresh. Yeah, it does work. And that's good. So now we can have this replay icon there. You can just copy the class. I can just go here. You can just say on click replay video function should be called or just say toggle replay video something like that if it is paused then I want us to show the pause icon if it's not paused then I don't want to show the pause icon so once the video finishes mm, This this just seems like a display none. It's just it should become just none. If that's not the case, then do that something else. Blah 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 blah. Okay, what exactly happens once our video finishes? Wanna see that? Okay, it just pauses, but I don't think we like one second when it pauses. Does our video continue to have the pause? Yeah, it does have the pause the uh, thing right here. So what we want to do, we basically want to change this pause to some like replay. So toggle the replay button. Toggle replay video, and what I want to do, I want to say basically here. Now this section. If video dot current dot current time is equal to the duration, that means the video has been reached to the, to the end point. And what I exactly want to do, I want to say. That my video container dot current dot class list first of all dot remove my pause value I want to say add my replay value there so basically now here I can say Pause is not pause or replay. If I'm going to click on replay, then my pause second should be display having a display none. And if there is no reply, then about my Replay icon to have a display of none. Well, I hope that works. I'm not sure. So basically, we are adding this replay thing to this class list, but how about removing it later on? So then. Add this thing to my video, and we'll just say our video dot dot current time should be equal to zero. Oh, it's not gonna be done here. Just gonna do this thing here. Our video dot current time is going to be equal to zero, and uh, then I'm just gonna say remove my replay class, and then just start playing. Do we need to do anything else when we are playing the video? I'm not sure.
Let's see what happens first of all. We are having a replay button there and a pause button there. So that, that, that just means our pause button was not removed. If your video dot container dot contains dot replay class. Yeah, it does contain replay class and it also contain the pause class. Well, class this dot remove pause. I guess it didn't do it the right way. We have to do it at the end of the way. Okay, now what is happening? The pause class is being added afterwards. Oh yeah, it is being added afterwards. I think we have already mentioned so much at this pause class. Duration management. Play pause functionality. Well, this is the little thing. Oh, by default, video has the pause thing. Pause property. On play, if I pause it, on pause, it's just going to add this thing. Okay, 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 I get it now. I get it now. If I pause the video, it's going to add the pause thing into inside of our video container. And probably, we're saying, when our time updates at the end, it's autom automatically going to pause the video. Alrighty. Say toggle video pause. We'll go a little bit upside here. Say constant. Video pause. Say if the same thing. I'm gonna say the thing here now. Then I wanna remove my pause class or normally I'll device. I'm say add my pause class in there. I hope this makes sense. Replay button, I click on here. Start the video again. Okay. When it's called the dot play function, it should be start playing already. And dot remove pause in case there was get some pause class just as a extra confirmation. Okay, fine, it's working fine. Huh? Huh? 
Okay, they're just recording this over hover thing, right? When we are hovering somewhere. <laughs> they're just recording this thing. Okay, go back. Come back. It just still stays there, well. Guess we have to fix this thing also. Okay, that was about the replay video function, and then now let's see about this thing. It's probably the before thing that we added in our. Timeline before. This thing. It's having the preview position. So, preview position can be anything. Preview position. Preview position is being updated two times. First of all, if the timeline container dot current dot style set property this thing, it is gonna set the property to this to the latest thing, right? To wherever we just uh, you know uh, sent our mouse to. And then when our mouse is out of this thing. I can do one thing though. Probably to fix this error will say event listener on the on mouse leave when the mouse leave will say toggle reset for effect toggle reset hover effect we'll have some kind of function like that and uh, I want my this review position to be zero once we leave our you see it's been set it to zero. <laughs> whenever we leave it. We should just say whenever we leave uh, this timeline. We should have this effect on our on mouse sleep for the timeline. Video controls and timeline container. Mouse sleep effect. Right? I hope Europe does something similar. Yep, they are doing the same thing. Whenever we leave our mouse from there, we just don't want to display it anymore, right? We don't want to select it anymore. Great. Now it literally feels like actually YouTube stuff like that. Uh, maybe we can add one more effect in here. And like when we pause the video, we should actually, you know, like we pause the video on YouTube, we actually get to know that we exactly pause the video. In this video, like well, this, you see in the middle, we have this little icons yeah, popping up and going. So maybe, maybe we <gasps> add something to actually show that thing, right? I mean, that would be pretty cool. Okay, so to add that function, and we will may we may also have you know once we're finished, we may also have this you know 
we'll play button in the middle to just make sure that we are playing the video. No, it's not. That's not gonna be fine. That's not gonna be good. <laughs> well, who knows? Okay, let's first of all see how we are gonna set up this icon stuff. Okay. So I don't wanna waste your time. I will just pause the video. I will just keep. I will just try a few styles and when and whatever works best. I will come back and we'll just start our journey again. Okay.